Hey guys, King of Charmanders, aka Hikaru here, and this is the beginner's guide on streaming Pokemon Go PvP on Twitch. If you are watching this, you are looking to stream Pokemon Go PvP content on Twitch. And this guide is going to tell you how you can do it, and in the next video, I will be telling my top 5 do's and don'ts on tips on Pokemon Go PvP streaming. Now, I can't promise you you're going to go from path to affiliate to path to partner. But what I can tell you is I'm going to tell you how you can start and how you can get there. All right, so now about getting started, the two main phones that Pokemon Go streamers normally would use is an Android and an iPhone. You can use other models. However, for this getting started guide, I'm going to focus on the two most popular ones. If you want to use a different phone other than an Android or an iOS platform, an iPhone or an Android, then I would do some research, see if your phone can run. As you see right here, I have some of the minimal requirements for both iOS and for Android. So hopefully this will help you out. Credits to Rank Boost for all the requirements, this consolidated chart on the requirements for Pokemon Go streaming as far as your device. Now, as you see, if you look below, you need GPS and location services. This isn't really necessary if you're streaming from, I'd say like, like home as far as like, your data plan. So the data plan, your unlimited data plan, having Wi-Fi is the best thing to do unless you have unlimited, you don't have unlimited data. The thing about streaming Pokemon Go is that it takes a lot of data. I have used almost 1.8 to 2 terabytes streaming. Listen to the how much data is. 2 terabytes almost streaming. So that and playing Pokemon Go will put a heavy toll on your data usage. If you don't have unlimited data, I heavily recommend you stream from home using Wi-Fi. An unlimited data plan, again, like it says below, is not a requirement. However, not only does Pokemon Go have a very heavy usage of data, but also streaming takes a heavy usage of data. And also, yes, you do need GPS and location services. Most of the, since you will be streaming mostly badly streaming, if you do plan on streaming, say grinding and whatnot, I can do another guide for that. I'll have another video for that. But as far as like battling streaming for battlers, most of the time you'll be stationary. So you'll either be at home or you'll be sitting in one place. So like I said, you know, these are the minimal requirements for iOS and Android. Those are the two most popular platforms. Also, a lot of mirroring software you use will require, will usually give you the requirements for Android and iOS. Again, to summarize it, these are requirements for Android and iOS, and make sure you either on Wi-Fi or heavily re recommended is an unlimited data plan. Because like I said, playing Pokemon Go and streaming does take an enormous amount of data. So here are five tips that I'm going to give you to help you get started for this beginner's guide. Now, the first one is get started. I know it sounds as simple as that, but you don't know how many people I know actually hold off streaming. So I've been in the streamer game for about seven years 2013 is when i first discovered twitch and everything was still very new to me but a lot of friends that i knew back in the day that are now very successful streamers they told me one of the things they wish they did was start earlier you always want to get started you can't build a followership you can't build a community you can't build relationships if you don't get started i know this sounds like a simple tip but i'm pretty sure a lot of you have been thinking about streaming for a long time and you're like maybe i should give it a shot i didn't start content creation until last year and now i finished path to partner get started number two make sure you look up guides i have a few guides below that are going to tell you how to get started streaming on ios on pc and on android i give more detail into it however like i said look up guides streaming is hard there's a lot of software you can use to stream at the same time setting up your profile and everything else can be a little complicated i'm going to make more videos on doing that to help everybody out but i'm going to put some general guides and tips to streaming that i think are really good below on the description so make sure you check those out number three you don't need any fancy equipment i literally stream using nothing but my iphone xs max yes it's a pretty expensive phone but i know some individuals out there i know some streamers out there that literally get by by using a phone that can handle streaming and can download the software into it i have know some great streamers that have a very have don't have the best equipment in the world and they're still successful and they still love streaming so you don't have to have the fanciest equipment 
if you want to get if you have a phone you can start playing and streaming Pokemon Go if that phone has the requirements and the capabilities to stream Pokemon Go and to stream and to stream at the same time. So you don't need the fanciest equipment. Again, I'll be doing more videos on resources, what you should buy if you want to look into it. But like I said, you don't need anything expensive. You want my experience? I literally stream with this. This is all I use is my phone. I don't have a expensive mic. I don't have a gaming chair. I have my phone, my personality, and my battling skill and content. That's all I have. You don't need to have a thousand and a thousand two thousand dollar phone to start streaming Pokemon Go and to get started. Four, make a schedule. I know a lot of streamers out there that just stream whenever they want to. Make a schedule. It helps not only keep you motivated, it also helps your followers it helps your audience know like hey okay i should expect you to stream at this time especially as a battler streamer there are so many new battlers that are coming out here and creating great battlers content on twitch so having a schedule really helps that person that really loves watching you to battle and i'll be doing more of a guide on this because believe it or not there are viewers out there that will only watch you or your friends or this like select four that battle and they'll only watch you as a streamer especially as a battler streamer. So make a schedule, make it easier on yourself. If you can stream for two hours out of the day, do it. And not only, like I said, not only does it help your followers and your audience know when you're going to stream, not only does it let you be more prepared, it also allows you to give you that breathing room. Okay, I'm going to take this time out of the day so I can stream. That way you're kind of mentally prepared and you kind of expect what's going to happen because streaming can be exhausting. Again, I'll be doing more on all these other tips, all these other tip videos in the future. But yes, streaming can be exhausting. So making a schedule definitely helps out. And five, probably the most important one in this beginner's side, is to be yourself. I know so many content creators out there that try so much harder on social media, on their content, to be something you're not. If you do not stream you, you are going to be drained because you are trying to become someone else. Be you. Be you. Me, I'm known as this really hyped up, positive individual. There's sometimes I'm negative. There's sometimes I have off days. Of course there is. But that's what I'm known for. I am super hyped. I'm super energetic. I'm super positive. I'm a great guy to be around. Not just on Twitch, but those that have met me at local battlers tournaments know that I am what I am. I'm a super positive. I'm super hyped up. I'm super friendly. And I love to help people. That's why I'm making this video right now. Be yourself. Be who you are. Don't pretend to be anybody else. Don't try to be your hero that streams or anything else because you're not them. You are you. Be who you are. Be you. Now, you're probably wondering why there's a path to affiliate and a path to partner portion here. Well, ultimately, you want to, some streamers do want to know how can I start earning on Twitch. Those earnings can be used to improve your channel for your content or your own personal needs to help you out. So path to affiliate requires this. It requires, as you see to the, as you see over here, 50 followers, which is pretty easy. As long as you're engaged in social media, you create a couple of relationships, you can get 50 followers pretty easily. You stream for eight hours. So stream for eight hours, streaming for eight hours is is really doable actually because it says stream on seven different days which means you stream on seven unique days which means you have to stream monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you could stream for an entire straight week as long as it's a different day then it will count and like i said you only have to stream for eight hours and you have to have an average of three viewers to your viewership now an average of three viewers means having three or more viewers constantly throughout the stream. Not just for like, oh, for like, oh, we get like three people for like five minutes and then three people for 30 minutes. No, it has to be like three or over. Now, this is a relatively easy goal to make. The reason why I do Path to Pet Affiliate, again, and Path to Partner is because you ultimately want to learn how you can start earning money or start earning on Twitch. If that's your goal, then this is where you want to do. This is what you want to do. You want to finish your Path to Partner as soon as possible so you can start 
working on your way to path to partner after you finish affiliate. Like I said, this isn't too hard. We have a wonderful battlers community. Make friends and you will get to path to affiliate relatively easy. I remember a long time ago where I've heard back in 2013, I've heard streamers not from Pokemon Go PVP, but from other platforms, other franchises that struggle to make path to partner. I know individuals that have never made path to partner, even though they've been streaming for three years. That's a thing. Affiliate is still pretty hard to get, but like I said, because of Pokemon Go PvP community, as long as you make a couple of friends, you make a name for yourself, you work hard, you can get to Affiliate relatively easily. Now, here comes the second goal. After you finish Affiliate, then comes the ultimate mother of goals for Twitch, which would be Path to Partner. Now, Path to Partner is an incredibly difficult goal. It is not easy at all like i said we have a great battlers community so you making path to affiliate isn't very difficult however when it comes to path to the partner this is when you really have to grind and you really have to set yourself apart because the thing about it is that for path the partner if you look those are some pretty heavy requirements you always want to set goals for yourself and path to affiliate, like I said, is relatively easy. It's a pretty, it's a pretty short, it's a pretty easy goal that you can go, you can go for, and you'll get it, and then it gets you motivated for path to partner. Now, the reason why I am really like trying to get you to realize just how difficult path to partner is, is if you look at those requirements, stream for 25 hours on 12 different days. So that means you have to stream for a little over two hours on those 12 different days, and that sounds pretty easy if you like if you like doing PvP, you do your GBLs every day. If you like doing your self cups on stream, 12 average 12 different days for 25 hours isn't too hard. First two requirements are totally doable. Unfortunately, the average from path to affiliate to path to partner jumps from 3 to 75. And this concurrent viewership excludes hosts, raids, and embeds. Now, what that means is that, and I'll go more into detail this on more videos. If your streamer PvP friends host you or raid you, unless they re-click the link and take out the refer part in it, they won't get the view. And 75 average viewers is a lot. Unless you've had a name for yourself outside due to YouTube, or competing very heavily in Sylph, or you're a very loved member of the Battlers community in some way, shape, or form, or you have a bunch of relationships for, like, your relationships with the Battlers community at either your immediate area, your local area, or, like, overall. Even then, 75 average viewers is insanely difficult. There are streamers that have streamed for years that are still affiliates that aren't even close to 75. Some of them stay around at 20, 30, 50, 60. The longest path to partner I personally know in the lab, the person that actually got that 75 average for path to partner, it took him four years to get it. Four years. Now, the thing about what also makes it difficult for 75 average viewers is that you also have to meet them within a 30 day period. So for 30 days on those 12 average on those 12 different days, you have to average 75. As for someone that's been at Twitch community for a long time, I actually started out in Twitch. I'll have another stream about that on my Twitch story. So it took me about two, three months to make affiliate, which is a lot longer than nowadays. I promise you, if you start streaming, you make a couple of friends on the Battles community, you help other people, you follow them, you support others, you will get affiliate pretty easily. Partner is a whole different story. Like I said, the mom, one of my great friends, it took him four years before he even reached path to partner. And you have to do it for a 30 day period. Now, affiliate, all you have to do is finish onboarding. For a partner, you have to apply. So you have to apply and then Twitch. A Twitch partnership team will look at your content. They look at so many things. They look at your content, look at chat interaction. They look at your average viewership. And even though you meet these minimums, that doesn't mean you will get approved. Path to partner is the dream of every Twitch streamer. It's a dream of mine. I recently applied to path to partner. 
and hopefully I did make it. But even just getting here, it took over a year. But that's like I said, I will make a video on my Twitch story. That is a that is incredible to make path to partner numbers in a year, not being having a great battler's resume, and just kind of being who I am and battling and making content my way, trying to be different, trying to be exciting, trying to do the best I can on myself. Getting there in a year is, I'm very grateful to have gotten Pat the partner completed in a little over a year. Because like I said, there are years that, there are streamers that will never make Pat the partner in their entire lives. As far as I know, last time I checked Pat the partner statistics, there's only a little, there's only like 41,000 Pat the partners, or partners, not Pat the partners, I apologize. There's only 41,000 Twitch partners around the world. That means there are only 41,000 individuals with a checkmark next to the name that says verified. Because once you make Path to Partner, you are verified. And you get that little checkmark. But like I said, that just because even you finish Path to Partner, these statistics, that doesn't mean you will get approved. Now, I hope you enjoyed my video. The reason why I did Path to Affiliate Path to Partner, it gives you those goals to work forward to, to look, to work towards. Um, one of the things that I won't say, or I'm not going to put it like on a table table contents, is goals. For streaming, you really do have to set goals because for goals, this is what helps you propel you forward. There's going to be days where you don't want to stream. There's going to be days where you're like, oh man, I am so done. Like, I want partner, but I'm nowhere even closer. Don't get discouraged. Keep working hard. You can get there. And I will do more videos. I will make more content on how to help the Pokemon Go PvP community out. If you want to start streaming, if you want to make Path Affiliate, if you want to make Path to Partner, I will. I have gotten there, and I've gotten there before PvP even became. I started streaming before PvP became a thing, and I got to Path to Partner when GBL came out, and I didn't have a resume. I'm a rival on self. And like I said, I started really taking off when GBL came out, but I'm gonna tell you all that on my own Twitch story how I made Path to Partner, but like I said, it's always good to set goals for yourself. Get started, get Path to Affiliate, and then we can start working towards Partner. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be making more streamer tip videos that are specifically geared towards Pokemon Go PvP streamers for Twitch, and you guys have a wonderful day.